we're talking driver, the big stick, the one that we want to hit the furthest, the one that we start most of the holes with. And we're going to give you some, some basics. So if you're a newer golfer or you're within the first 18 months to two years of your golfing career, if you like, we're going to really cover some things which are massively going to help. So the first thing we need to do is actually talk a little bit about the design of the driver itself. Clearly, it's a very different design of head compared to all the other clubs in the bag. It's bigger and theoretically the sweet spot is larger, so we should be able to hit the center a little bit more often. But where we hit the ball on the club face is really, really important. What we really want to try and do is obviously hit the center, so that's kind of here. But with the driver, depending on the club that you've got, the center of the club is around about here, but we don't mind if we work a little bit above that. We're going to get poorer results when we start to use the bottom part of the golf club and when we start to use the sides of the golf club over here. So what that means is that tee height becomes incredibly important. So when I set my ball on a tee, I want to have around about half the ball above the top of the club head, as you can see there. What that means is I'm able to deliver the club where the club head is away from the ground, but able to hit the center of the club. If we tee that ball too low, it means that number one, we're either gonna get low in the club face, or number two, in order to hit the right part of the club, we have to get the bottom of the driver a little bit too close to the ground and we actually run the risk of hitting the ground. So teeing the ball up and getting half the ball above the top of the club is where I'd love you to start. As you progress and you start to measure your strike, you can start to tweak that a little bit, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower to get it right where you need it, but that's a great starting point. So, you can see I've got this ball teed up. That for me would be pretty much the perfect height. And we then need to set ourselves up around that golf ball. Now, the other thing with the driver, it's going to be, apart from the putter, the club in the bag, which has got the lowest loft. That means it's got the less, sorry, it's got the least amount of tilt back. There is some loft. My driver here has got around about nine degrees. But in order to get the best ball flight out of this club, we need the golf club to be rising as it hits the golf ball. So the club head is actually moving away from the ground. That helps us launch the ball into the air and get the ball flight that we need. Our setup plays a huge role in that. So I'm gonna take my stance and I would like a slightly wider stance than I would have with my wedges and my mid irons. So they might be sort of in this area. With my driver, I'm gonna go maybe the width of a club head a little bit wider. And then when I reference the ball to my feet, it's going to be opposite the inside of that lead heel. So it's very much up in my stance. When I stand and I'm 50-50 in my balance, I also want to have a slight amount of tip away from the target with my upper body. A small amount you can see, not a huge change, but that puts the upper body behind the belt buckle. And that therefore puts my head close to the middle of my heels, if not a little bit back, and the most important reference point here is that I've got my upper body, my sternum, so that's the buttons or the zip, significantly behind the golf ball. And you can see that there. When I place the club in, I want the club shaft as straight and neutral as I can. And I want to take my normal grip on the golf club. The key things here in setup is ball is forward, sternum is behind the ball, and club shaft is neutral. Those are the three things that I want you to really focus on. And if we can create that setup, because the ball is forward of you, it gives the golf club time to reach the bottom of its swing and then work upwards into the ball, helping us to achieve that ball flight. So we've got ourselves set up. We're primed, ready to actually use the driver. So how do we actually swing it? Well, the first thing I would always get a newer golfer to do is get a really good idea, a good concept of what we're trying to do. When we're using the driver, and actually this applies to any golf club, there are no straight lines, and the golf club is, the club face is always changing where it points. So as I set up, I've got my target down in the fairway here, the golf club points down to the middle of the fairway. What I don't want to try and do is swing the golf club on what I feel is a straight line back from the ball. So this would be me trying to keep the golf club moving in a straight line. That's unfortunately wrong. We'll explain why in a moment. When I look down, my club face points towards the center of that fairway. Again, what I don't want to do is as I swing, try and keep the club pointing at the golf ball or at my target in the distance. And these two moves, this combination is something that we would see quite commonly in a newer golfer because it 
sort of feels like it would help you hit the ball straighter if we can keep everything in this straight line and keep the club pointing at the target. Let me do a little demonstration. Let me remove that golf glove for a moment. So I'm going to take my setup. I'm just going to place my right hand down in front of me and you can see where my palm faces. Now, if I was to keep the relationship the same between my arm and my body, as I rotate my body, watch what happens to my palm. It starts to rotate. It would now face sort of that camera over there. And then you can see how my hand has also moved slightly upwards and slightly inwards. This is the natural movement of my arm based on what my body's doing. Now the golf club is obviously in my hand, so the golf club should also make that movement. So provided you have a pretty sound grip, the palm on your trail hand should pretty much reference where that club points. So if I was to hold the golf club right down here, right near the end, and do that same little exercise, that would be my palm look facing the target. As I rotate, there's my palm, look where the club face is. That club face is no longer pointing at my target and it's moved upwards and inwards. So when we move that driver head away from the ball, we need to appreciate that that club face is going to rotate with it and it's going to move inside. Now for many golfers, when they put themselves in this position, it feels very strange, very alien because it looks very difficult to get the club back to the ball. What we have to understand there though, is if I was to make that same movement back, we should get the same or the reverse happening. And if I was to continue through, we get a very different look on the way through where the club now points sort of out behind me. So the golf club is, a, is rotating around my body. The club is always moving on an arc and the club face is never pointing in a straight line. So what I'd love you to do with the driver to really just get this concept is chip some balls. I will probably lose this ball but I just want you to chip some balls, making that movement with the body. And we should see how the ball went pretty straight and I allowed that club to move upwards and inwards. We're gonna tear ball up in a moment. So we've now got set up, we've got a really good concept of what we're trying to do. We're now gonna look at what the body does. How does the body move? And then we're gonna look at making the golf club have a nice flowing movement around that body. So I'm gonna take this golf club, I'm gonna place it across my shoulders. And in my backswing, what I'd love you to try and do is have the sensation that this end of the golf club, so for me, that's the grip, is going to point towards the tee that's in the ground. So that's my sole thought, is can I make a movement where the grip points towards the tee? Now, as we look from this camera, it may not be pointing or angled at the tee, but from my viewpoint, as I view this, it very much looks like that grip is pointing down towards the tee. I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna get the club head to point down towards the tee. This would be my basic body motion that I want to use for the driver. Grip at the tee, head at the tee. Grip at the tee, head at the tee. Now on the way through, once I've got the feeling that the club head is at the tee, I want to feel like I rotate right the way to face the target and get as tall as I can. Notice how my weight is on my lead side. So the backswing and the downswing are a reverse of each other. Backswing, downswing, with the downswing being an added release through to this position where hopefully we're watching a ball sail straight down the middle of a fairway. So start to put that into you know, a bit of a flow, a bit of a motion, start to put some rhythm into that. Start to feel that this movement becomes very natural to you and start to feel that there's a nice flow to this movement. We know sudden movements, and you should feel at the end that you're in nice balance, where your whole body's facing the target and your head is nicely aligned with your upper body. And again, we should be looking, hopefully, at a ball which is moving down the fairway. That's what the body's doing. If you get the body right, we're halfway there because we just want that club to have a nice motion around that body. So. We've spoken already about how the club moves upwards and inwards. We also want to try and feel it with the wrists. We work the club head up above our hands. So you can see how I've got the club head from that camera angle above my hands. On the way through, yep, I want the same. Now in order to achieve that, I need my wrists to be nice and fluid. We're gonna hold onto the golf club with our fingers and we possibly need to have a little bit of pressure there. You know, we're gonna be hopefully swinging this club at some speed a little bit further down the line. So we need some pressure with the fingers, but my wrists always need to be nice and fluid. 
So watch what happens when I add that body turn, that takeaway, club up and through. I start to get a pretty basic swing motion. And as I'm doing this, I'm really sensing and feeling that that club is swinging around my body. I'm never muscling the club this way. I'm never strangling the golf club and making it look very rigid. I'm trying to create this flowing motion where the club is moving naturally around that body pivot that we've spoken about. The next stage I'll get you to do after that, set up to a T. Get that T height correct and just make some swings. We are trying to clip the T out the ground. That's a great starting point with the driver. Start to just make that nice flowing motion, clip the T out the ground. Once you've done a couple of those, we can very simply do the same, but with a golf ball in the way. And there we've got our basic driver swing where I'm hitting up on the ball. I'm not making contact with the ground. I've got a great body movement. I have got a golf club which is flowing around that. And what's possibly more important at this stage is my concepts are really clear. I've got the right things in my mind. That ball didn't go particularly far, but it went nice and straight. And as I build in confidence, I can start to increase the speed, but those basics never really ever change. If you can get comfortable with this club, massively gonna help your progress. Plus, pretty good fun as well to master it. So, those are the driver basics. Get those right and you'll soon be reaching this club a lot more, standing on that tee with a lot more confidence.